In this video, I'm going to show you how to replace the switch assembly in a DeWalt cordless hammer drill. The switch allows you to turn the drill on and off, it allows you to change the drill's rotation, and it also gives you variable speed control of the drill's motor. Common symptoms when the switch goes bad will be that the drill will no longer turn on and off. You lose some or all of the variable speed control of the motor, you can't change from forward to reverse, and sometimes the switch will actually burn and you'll get some smoke coming from the drill. Replacing the switch is easy to do, and I'm going to show you how. Switches, as well as many other parts, can be found on our website. Let's get started. We'll begin by removing the battery. The rear cap is secured to the housing with four screws. I'll remove those. Next, I'll remove the four screws that secure the clutch and chuck assembly to the rest of the drill. Now I'll remove the remainder of the screws that secure the housings. With the housing removed, now I have access to the motor, transmission, and switch assemblies. Over the years, the switch has changed part numbers many different times and each time a slightly different switch is used. You'll notice in the switch kit, it comes with new wire leads and a new forward and reverse selector. Make sure you use all of the new parts out of the kit so that everything fits right. I'll begin removing the switch by first removing the wire leads from the brush holders. With the wire leads removed, now I can go ahead and pull the switch away from the drill housing, as well as the selector switch. Now we can install our new switch assembly. I'll start by installing this new selector switch. Now I'll line up the switch with the selector switch and tuck away the wires. And I'll install the wire leads to the brush holders. Now I'll replace the clamshell half and secure it with the screws. Now I can install the clutch and chuck assembly. I'll rotate the drill shaft until it aligns with the gearbox. And once everything's in place, I'll secure it with the screws. and we'll replace the rear cap. 